I'd argue, right now in 7.10 because there's a lot of code work done on him that was reverted in 7.11. So some of his old cancels are actually deleted right now from the game. Cinder does come through as the mid laner here for Jensen, as you mentioned, really easily. Received by some long swords from them, make it happen. Knock gonna land there. Look at the damage over They got the root of the side, and look at the damage output. They're gonna take him down. First blood to Zaya and Rakan in the bot lane. Track star. Level six has a lot more gold, has a lot more farm. A lot of pressure now towards the mid lane. Ulti on a who he can look for the stun. Gonna land that there. Nice body block for Dardic. Finds a bit of time and he's gonna get a shockwave, and it's just gonna be the kill. Who he's already gone. Shockwave. With his Did time. He? Out he goes. Darshan there will be knocked down first. Turret has some help from Dardoch. Quick knockup actually buys a bit of time, and they're gonna be going for the stuns, going for the damage, and Ray actually has no way out anymore. Ult buys a bit of time, but it's not gonna matter. Kill comes through. Now looking for the flash oh. kick, they're gonna get him onto that one. Hoohee chunked a bit low. Here comes Rakan, hoping to save the day, not gonna find much. Finally pops the charm afterwards. Q actually did land, nice. I believe. Because even though... Oh, God, I got smite. Not gonna get it in time. He did smite, but it was too early. The kill comes through, and now here comes the fight. Oh. Nice charm and a knockup. Lots of damage here. They will not yet get Dardoch. Ray going into the back line, trying to pick off that kill. He's not gonna get it. Finally, one for one as the kill comes through for Huhi. Half moves staying alive in the back line as well. Darshan full rage in the face. But they do have the gold advantage currently. Ray! Shock with the roots there as well, and that was overstepping. It's so easy. Q auto techie. The follow up from the shock find anyone in range just yet. After he wants to look for the play in Darshan to the front side, gonna find the stunts, gonna look for the root, gonna look for the damage. And yes, they take him down. Who he gets the kill credit, but everyone else put in the hard work. Mid lane turret has been uh, fairly similar. Oh. Aside from the skirmishes. Another bad smite out of Dardock, and now Whoa. it's gonna be in the wrong spot of this one. The invade didn't go very well. Flash to stay alive, and that's gonna be an easy pick up there. Sonic Wave. Darshan no. might have to sacrifice in order they have to have all five. Here. There. No one can reason except Darshan. This is no chance of a smite steal. Darshan is gonna pull off a miracle in CLG. Past 20 minutes, send four members bot lane and give a free Baron away. Great call by Cloud9, but huge mistake from CLG on himself. Gone Hurricane, which is one of the... Oh, there's the flash ball. They're gonna get the shock. They're gonna get the kill on a Sneaky. He's got no way out. Hurricane means nothing. The damage is there, and Afro's really made the plays. Yeah, I'll tell you, that long range... Dark with his flash available is definitely intense. This is the one. Ray's walking forward, he's gonna find Darshan. Knockup goes on to the Gragas. There's the Polymorph. He's got no way out. The kick to make sure it happens, and Dardoch picked off at the start. And you can see they use a bunch there to be able to get that because they know just one kill. Uh oh, CLG looking for a counterplay though. I'm gonna be there. They're gonna knock up the shockwave is there as well. They picked him off immediately. Two for zero. And Ray can't kill a backline by himself. It's all the time they need as Darshan is able to do that cleanly as well. In the 4v5, they picked up three already. Then the root on a Ray. The chase is on with the red buff. He's got no way out. Oh, he's gonna flash out. <laughs> All right, he's got that way out. I take it back. I continue to make wrong calls in these team fights, but CLG oh, lose Darda. And it was all the bamboozle. Oh, after who wants in? He can W forward. He's got Moby boots. He's gonna find the knockout, but they've got all the tools you think they need to get him down with this one. But the rest of the team is still pushing in the mid lane. The mid inhibitor turret is dead. And as Ray leads him off in a goose chase, contracts can't survive the 1v2 oh. in the mid lane. So the inhibitor is going to fall as well. The soul laners of CLG take it down. And Ray will still fall here. He is going to die. And now it's a renewed one full minute of 5v4 for CLG. He lands the Q. Explosive cast from Dardot can prevent the contract steal. He's going to instead go the kill. And Sneaky is not what he thought he was. Down he goes in the beginning. And Darshan tanks on the CC and doesn't even care. Gargoyles don't play help with that one. Jensen ults, the and they're going for turret number one that's going to fall shortly. Good by six, it gets away from the stun. There's the engage, they find the shockwave. They get some of the damage. Darshan just barely staying alive. Brothers don't land much damage on a ray. Pops the stone plate, stays alive. Sneaky in nine, smoothies up now, yeah. Multiple yeah. times before. Here's the end of that story. It is C9 now, burning down the Baron. Looking for the play, and it's going to be taken up, and it's Contracts who grabs it. C9 secure, they're back into this one. Polymorph, oh the knock of the damage. Darshan is gone. The double shockwave again means so much for the cat. Kill the the back line and Dardoch can't do the damage. Ray will be picked off. So much damage does come out of Sixe, who is still holding onto his flash. This back line for CLG has remained so massive. Dardoch's looking for the slows here to screen them, but Afro got he pulls in contracts though and doesn't find much to do. The kick on a Huhi. He delivers himself the kill still. Contract makes it happen. Dardoch finds something else. What were they doing? They sent Sixe mid to try and like push down mid lane or something. He's going now to bottom lane. Contracts is so low. He's he got no way out. He's pretty much dead. Oh, that's pretty sick and doesn't matter. <laughs> he shields himself, pops the cap. Oh, Banshee's gone. 
And Dardock rooted in the face and just can't do anything. Jensen takes him down one for zero so far. The fight continues. A nice knock over the back line, and Darshan's gonna try to make it happen. They picked off one so far. He's very tanky. He doesn't do a lot of damage to the stone plate pop, but it's still more out of Stixley. The double kill for Jensen, but Stixley's staying alive. Go back to defend, but CLG should be able to get another inhibitor turret here. Should be two turrets now as they stay. The rest of the team's gonna be coming around. Jarvis blanking as well. This could be a 5v5 that Cloud9 could win. A lot of damage to the Stixley. The charm is there, but no follow-up. But a Jensen shot by finally lands. He gets away with the flash, though. Into the front line, to the back line they go. Stixley trying to cut away, but he's still oh! stuck in the pit. But he gets the damage across two. Shut down already. They've got the knockback out of Sneaky. It's three down, and the back line stays alive. Well played by Counter Logic Gaming. Smoothie cannot keep his base alive. CLG will make it happen. The comeback. The win comes through. One to one, the series will go, and we will have a decider. The back line, the squishes of CLG putting in so much work in the team fights, and they close out the game. Oh, baby, game!